Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining what is meant by an output for a simple machine. For that, I'll be drawing this diagram. Here the heavy load example, assuming a stone which we have to move having mass 100 kg, just an assumption here. Now this needs to be moved. So the simple approach is to use a lever and fulcrum arrangement here. A very simple example of output. At the end of this lever, an effort needs to be applied denoted by P in order to move this stone or the heavy object. Now when this stone is moved with the help of this lever, it would be covering a certain distance and I am assuming with the help of this center line that it has moved to this new position. So the distance which is covered by this stone is denoted by X and here we have a mass so out of that we can get the weight as well which is m into g so w is the amount of load and x is the distance which is traveled by the load when the effort is trying to move it so the distance covered by the load and the load itself when both of them gets multiplied that is called as the output so output can be basically defined as the product of the load to be lifted into the distance which is traveled by that load. So I'll write the definition. So defined as the product of load and distance traveled by load, then it is given by the formula output is the product of load and the distance traveled by the load and in case of simple machine this output value would be less compared to the input and input is given by effort into the distance traveled by effort which is P into Y and I will write down that output would be less than the input in case of simple machines and here the unit is load I am assuming it to be in terms of Newton distance x in terms of meter so Newton meter is joule which is the unit of work in other words output can also be defined as the amount of work done in order to move the load from one location to another and as explained in case of simple machine the output would always be less than input and input is given by P into Y like output is W into X input is P into Y that is effort and the distance traveled by the effort. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.